The point to it was, talking about seeking, is that everything is about creating an identity for you in order for you to be someone. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a functioning that's happening and what is. But in that, there is such a strong identification with being something that's, that there's another possibility that's forgotten. And this other possibility is freedom, but it has nothing to do with that person. Nothing, nothing to do with that person. That person might change as a result of this realization, more than likely it does, but it's got nothing to do with the person. The person appears in what is. The person always thinks, I get to what is, I get to awakening, I get to know me. But it's actually beyond that. It's, it's, um, it's seeing that it's an energetic shift from being someone and something that's moving in time to seeing and it's not you seeing it, it's like an energetic shift that who you are is actually what's happening. And you were never a small identity that was a singular unit. There was an experience happening of a character inside this dream, but that character was never alive and never experiencing. That character is a functioning that's appearing in every moment and it's being watched. And you could say who you are is the watcher, but it even goes deeper than watcher or goes deeper than consciousness. But it's okay if you want to stop and say watching or consciousness, but eventually you begin to see there is no consciousness, there is no watching, there is simply everything. There isn't separation from a watching and the everything. The everything is self-conscious, the everything is knowing itself. And that's the end of seeking. So a dynamic drops away in the person, which is called this end of seeking. It's not the end of the character, it's not the end of the personality structure, it's the end of the seeking. And the seeking is based on this fundamental belief that you are a person, and when you are a person, you're limited, and that limitation feels uncomfortable, and you're always trying to get out of that limitation. And you do it by imagining future events which will free you. So in the future when you're successful, in the future when you do this, and then you imagine freedom in that. It doesn't mean that the character doesn't strive to survive, so the character doesn't carry on being creative or carrying on having a partner or children or creating a life. It's not that the character stops acting like a human. It's that this energy that believes that freedom is found in a particular behavior, in a particular event, in a particular situation in the future. Freedom is right here, ever present. It's who you are. This unconditioned love that you seek in time is what's experiencing right now. And that's nothing to do with the person. The person is being experienced. The person's not experiencing. 